This is End Screen Noise. My name is Colin Dixon, founder and chief analyst at End Screen Media, and today is August 23rd, 2013. Are we nearing a tipping point for web video online? Well, goodness, it looks like it with the pace of delivery of content this week. Yahoo announced that they will be launching 1,000 hours of video on their site September 9th, including some of their comedy originals and we assume the Saturday Night Live content that they licensed earlier this year. Uh, dumping it all out there to support that binge habit we've all developed since we've all, got, uh, all been using Netflix. The Weinstein Company agree, uh, reached agreement with Netflix to uh, deliver its movies exclusively through the Netflix site starting in 2016. You'll remember Disney also made an agreement with Netflix to release its movies in 2016. So by that time, it looks like Netflix is going to be an essential component of any in entertainment package. So that should help Reed Hastings achieve his goal of 60 million plus subscribers. Uh, boy, that could really help it with exclusive content and exclusive windows like that. Also, Google was rumored to be talking to the NFL about licensing the out-of-market games, which currently this license lies with DirecTV in their Sunday ticket. Now, DirecTV's license expires at the end of the 2014 season and they're rumored to be spending about a billion dollars a year on that and not making money, apparently only making about $800 million. So it would be a big boon for Google to get this, although one has to wonder if it's going to be a money spinner for them, bearing in mind DirecTV is not making money, and particularly because they'll probably end up spending about $1.5 billion a year for the rights. But boy, it would be great to see that stuff there. Talking of pay TV, there are folks that want to launch pay TV like services online. Sony, Apple and Intel all are rumored to be readying services. Actually, Intel is not a rumor. They are definitely launching service later this year. Well, Sony managed to get preliminary agreement with Viacom to deliver its channels in a service which it's supposed to be targeting to the PlayStation PS3 and when it's released, PS4. So uh, this is a, a big boom for the company and should be a nice stepping stone to launching those sorts of services. Apple II was rumored this week to be talking to Hollywood companies, including HBO and Disney's ESPN, which of course would have to be part of any pay TV online service. Uh, and of course, Intel, well, we can bet if the others are negotiating, Intel is negotiating hard as well. Now, with so much quality content coming online, we are clearly going to be spending a lot more time there. So I'm wondering how long before we realize we can get by without that cable subscription? Well, at this pace, it could be a lot sooner than any of us expect. Now, I do have a free white paper available at my site, the Virtual Operator Advantage, talking about the advantages of launching services, pay TV services online. You'll hear from folks like Eric Huggers at Intel Media and from Mark Ramberg of, from Amazon Web Services, as well as Dali, Danny Pellet from Vidmind and Ian Valentine from TV Zor. Uh, you can get that paper simply by clicking on this link, this icon right here, if you are watching this at my website. If you are not, you can just come to my website and click on the link you'll find right there at the front page. We'll see you again next time.